Our nation's roads and highways are deteriorating. That is the focus of a meeting in Washington today where leaders discussed how to deal with crumbling highways and bridges. NBC's Danielle Lee joins us live from Washington with more on what Central Texas leaders had to say. Danielle? Hi, Shannon and Robert. Right now, the Obama administration is estimating it's going to cost $145 billion a year to repair all of the nation's roads. And in central Texas, people there tell me they are focused on population growth and keeping up with all of that growth. We spoke to the executive director of the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority, Mike Heilingstein. And what he told me is that in Austin alone, about 40,000 new people are coming to the area a year. So what that means is that the Austin area needs to not not only maintain the roads that are there, it needs to be building new roads. And one of the main things that he's pushing with members of Congress, people in Texas, is that what needs to happen is an emphasis on tolling. He said there needs to be more tollways because what that does is it also reduces congestion while at the same time paying for the new infrastructure. He says the Mopac Expressway will be a great example of that. And he said that right now in the Central Texas area, congestion is one of the biggest threats to economic well-being. People are reluctant to move across your region when they have to do so in congested traffic and be there for an hour, hour and a half. So it's gotten to be quite an issue for us. Uh, we don't see a static economy. We see a, a robust economy. And I did talk to Heilingstein about SH-130 and complaints that it's being underutilized. He said that that tollway was built in anticipation of a greater need. Basically, it's still growing into its use. And he says, ultimately, it will be a very valuable tool. Live in Washington, I'm Danielle Lee, Robert and Shannon. Back to you.